Hey everyone, I'm back with another cool tutorial. Today we are going to create this gorgeous looking birthday invitation design using Canva. So yeah, without wasting time, let's get started with our tutorial. First, let me search for our background. So I'm searching for purple background. Then just scroll a little bit, scroll a little more and here you go. Then just right click on the image and set image as background. Perfect. Now search for white balloons. Here you have your image. Bring this at the top and just cover the top part of the artboard. And I'll just shift it a little upwards. Okay. Then let's search for purple galaxy overlay. Scroll down a little bit and let's take this element over here. Then I'm just rotating it a little bit and let's duplicate this element. Again rotate it and I'll just increase its size a little bit. So basically we are just covering the bottom part of our artboard and you can play with this element as you like. Okay. Uh, then let's search for our next element that is golden party ribbon. Let's take this image. Then go to edit image and in this effects just increase the blur a little bit. Let's just rotate it and place it at the side of the artboard. Duplicate it again. Just rotate it. Let's change its position. And I'm just placing it randomly at the sides of our artboard. Let's take this element and position it to back. Now search for birthday gift in the elements. Then go over here in the filter and select this cutouts only option then let's select this element silver box again repeat the same thing just increase the blur a little bit from the effects option and i'll be just randomly placing this element at the sides of our artboard Okay, now let's search for decorative circular shape dotted frame. Then let me just clear this option over here. Then come to the graphics tab. Scroll a little bit and you will find this element. Just change its color to the pink over here. And I'll just reduce its size, bring it to the center like this. Then um, just go to frames and search for a circular frame with a border like this. And again, let's change its color to the pink. Okay, now the idea is to have that decorative frame behind the uh, circular photo frame like this. So I'll be just uh, selecting this decorative frame and while pressing alt let me just increase its size so that it does not move away from its center point. Now uh, I'm just searching for a random photo. I'll go with this one just drag it into the placeholder I mean photo holder then just double click and stretch this image. And position it like this now time to add some text on your design so just press T on your keyboard and okay let me first change the color to white so that it is visible now let me just make it uppercase and change the font to this one and just reduce its size Now again press T. And add your text. Let's just reduce its size. Make it lowercase. 
now just go to effects and choose this option splice i'll be changing the color to pink over here and then uh, let me just zoom in a little bit so that it is clear i'll make the offset and direction to zero and reduce the reduce the thickness uh, a little bit you can of course play with the settings as you like it's already in the center okay now um, we'll add another text box for birthday party let's make it lowercase and just change uh, search for the font called moon time and let's change the color to pink then I'm just increasing the size then go to effects and select this option neon and increase the intensity to maximum perfect so this is how it looks uh, let me just select this and reduce its size a little bit let's do a quick touch up Okay, so once you are done adjusting the position and size of your text, then let's select this photo over here and the frame. So, let's select both these elements. While pressing Alt, just increase its size a little bit and shift it a little upwards. I'm again just increasing the size of my text as well. Perfect. Now, uh, just press R on your keyboard and it will bring up a rectangle like this. Then just change its color to white and let me just stretch the sides like this. Bring it a little upwards and just go over here, increase the corner rounding a little bit and border weight. Select the dotted line and just change the border to pink. So now you have pink dotted line as your border of this rectangle i am just adjusting the position of the uh, photo and then just press l on your keyboard it will bring up a line like this let's just increase the uh, size of the uh, i mean the length of the line and change its color to the purple used in the background then i am just increasing the line weight then let's quickly add some text in the box. Perfect. Now let me just uh, reduce the length of this rectangle a little bit. Then add our last text. Change the color to white. Then go to effects. Select this option lift and increase the intensity to maximum. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to work even harder. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.